Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this, uh, my name is Henry Gray. This is Gray Stone Carving Studio, and this is Monday afternoon um, stone carving demonstration um, at um, the workshop. Um, and um, I want a cup of tea. So, anyway, I'll have to have a cup of tea afterwards, I've been told. Just want to show you this before um, um, I show you what we've been doing. So this is a little thing that, um, that I've done. Um, a little, little uh, in Chicks Grove. It's a local stone, and what's quite nice is the banding in the material. So this is, you know, this is sedimentary rock, and the banding in the material is, is really pretty. Um, sometimes you get these um, with with Chicks Grove. You get these. Um, I think I don't know. I think it could some kind of cat's paws. You get these little ferns as well in the surface of the material, and then you get. Sometimes you get this really beautiful swirly kind of pattern as well. So it can be a really handsome material. And I know I diss this material because from um, a masonry point of view, it, is, it can be really tricky. It can be very inconsistent. It is actually, this particular piece of stone is really nice and kind of, um, yeah, so, um, let's see if you can say that. Rue says beautiful. Oh, hi Rue, nice to see you. Um, the other thing I want to say, I'm sorry about the mess, it's a bit untidy this morning, I haven't swept up um, before the um, before um, the demo, I just kind of wanted to get this that, that finished and this um, this to a stage, the stage that I um, said I get it to you. So this is the kind of, so <coughs> what I did last time was um, we did this or the time before we did this check we took, took this bit of material out and then last time I made this shape and started carving the outside and what I've done is I've done the opposite side I've, 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 I've carved the opposite side and then finished off this so this is kind of rolling over and the other thing I did is I pushed this central frond down a bit and then I push this down a bit so that it goes up, up and over. Whoa. And I push this down a bit and I push this down a bit. And then re... This is why it's useful to have a template. There's a template. It's gone. Template's gone. But it's useful to have a template because I could easily just reapply. No, that's not it. Anyway, it's, it's somewhere. The template, um, so you can reapply it as you rub it out, as you go, go down through the stages of this. And again, this is architectural carving. This is, um, there are kind of, it's, a, it, 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 it's, it's easiest to do it in this kind of ABC way. It's not sculpture, although a lot of sculptures are still done in a kind of, initially in an ABC manner. So as you can see, I've kind of dropped this down, this back, this down, and I haven't made a decision about what this background would be. You know, you can texture it, you can sparrow peck it, you can tool it, you can rub it, you can make it. Um, and I've got to this stage. So with an acanthus leaf, these are V-cut. Yeah, so this is the low point. Um, whereas actually this above this, this is the, is, is the high point. That's the high point, it drops down there. So um, this would be uh, this central frond would be like that yeah with a little drop on that side yeah so a little four to catch the shadow to differentiate this edge and then it would go back up well not that high but it would go back up to can you see there's a there's a central line running there like that does that make sense Okay, so this is for those of you who are carving along. <laughs> I don't know if you will be carving along. God, anyway. Right, so um, what also what also makes this kind of kind of lovely, what well, a, a lovely design and very very simple is you kind of got ups and downs. You've got you've got um, so this leaf here is obviously higher than this so this is high this is low so what we'll do and this 
this little kind of... Oh, also, the other thing I did was I drilled these holes in and drilled them in so you've got these kind of deep spots. I was, I was a little bit unfortunate. All the, um, the arises on this one got nibbled away here and nibbled away here. Um, and that's my bad. I should have been uh, slower. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the the there's kind of one, two, three batches of leaves and the batches of leaves kind of like come up and then start low and then come up and then start low. Right. So I'm going to just car start carving, carving that. So, you know, I always start carving from the um, from the tip, tip of, you know, so the sharp, again, the sharp point, you come into the sharp point, and then from these internal um, um, shapes, corners, yeah. I work outwards from these shapes, so the corner and the corner, yeah. and then this, I'm going to push that through there. Right, now, so that runs This is one. <coughs> there you go. Oops. You see what happens when you run when you run it. So I'm gonna push that down. See what I'm doing? I, I'm trying to avoid running in into it all the way to that there yeah? because as soon as you put a blow into the bottom of this, you kind of make this area weak. So especially if you found yourself, you know, imagine you were kind of working in, working in. No, I'm not going right up to it. But if you managed to tap there and you put a blow in there, what? And you went all the way round. All it would take would be a little knock or a little bit of frost getting into the little cracks that you created and this whole leaf would pop off. Right. If I had um, if I had a drill, I would probably drill this area out first. But I'm doing a kind of Let's see if I can find a um, so that's quite a nice tool for the job. That's a um, little fish tail. Little thing, thing, little fish tail, and you can go in here. And um, the fish tail is perfect for a fish tail because you um, you're less likely to destroy this iris here when working into trying to get a, a, um, a vertical um,
Now what I want to do So it gives the illusion of that line continuing to run along here and then to here. It's not brilliant, but we'll see. And this little leaf running over the top of, coming over the top of that, as this one. Maybe I'm moved, actually. So that's kind of gives you a, a, a basic idea. So this is this is high and this is low here. Don't have to do too much in that because what we do now is we run the V cut in. So the other thing I want to say about this is, can you see what I'm, the shape, I mean other people do it, I mean, I'm pretty sure people do it differently, but the sh look at the shape of my body and what I'm doing, I'm carving with my body, I'm not just carving with um, my, my hands, I'm carving with my whole body, um, so that this shape doesn't change, I, and I know I keep coming back to this, but it seems to me, people, maybe it isn't hugely important, um, the more I do it, the more it seems to be the easiest way to do it, is I keep this structure the same, this, this structure, and I'm actually moving my whole body. I'm carving from the, from the tips of my toes all the way through my hips basically and this is what and and, and my body does my, my torso does does um sounding like a bloody hippie I'm carving with my whole body I'm carving with my heart you know, weirdly and I know that sounds like sound weird but other than the material that I um, put onto the um, put onto the template. So I'm pretty sure. I mean, when you look at a canvas, you can see how how different they can be. 
And actually, there's a spikiness to some of Canthus leaves that are really is 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 that this doesn't quite have. Um, but um, I quite like these shapes. So that's, well, that's where I'm going with them. And they fall within the parameter of the kind of Corinthian style. But I, I just I remember, um, and I don't know whether now this is years, this is. Or oh, 20 years ago, when I, uh, or, or maybe 15 years ago, I was working. I've, I've, I've done a load of work on Saul the Cathedral, and then I'd work for another com um, I work for uh, another company working at Christchurch Priory. And I swear, and then I went back to working at um, um, doing some subbing at um, Saul the Cathedral, and I swear that I could see the style of one carver who'd worked on both. I swear it, and I might have made it up in my brain, but I, I'm pretty sure, because there was a time where I could look at a piece of masonry on that west front of sort of the cathedral, and I could tell you who in the workshop had made that particular piece of carving, that piece of masonry, that piece of carving. Because everybody, you know, everybody has their, everybody brings themselves to it, everybody has their own style. kind of a, an idea of um, of how it works and how reasonably kind of you can say some shadow how reasonably kind of quickly you can carve I mean I, I mean I'm, we're away and this is the initial cut so I would probably mess you know cut the whole thing like that and then mess about with it you know recut it do the tool marks redo the tool you know because um, there's kind of nice tool marks running down there I'd probably align them all um, and you know, and maybe uh, you know, looking at it now, I might do them a little bit deeper, um, give them a little bit more shadow. Although, you, if you see, if you can see, that's how it would be. Um, yeah, probably could do with a bit more shadow. And that, so, what we, what's the time? Are we, are we, what, 15 minutes? I could carry on for a bit, or, or we could um, call that quits for the time being. Because what, what I could do is whilst during the week I'll carve the rest of it to this stage and then um, uh, um, we can have a look at the next stage but, but that will be nearly done but it will be the kind of refining of it and I'll have a look I'll have a look at um, <clears throat> some other acanthus leaves in the meantime um, yeah, so I think we'll leave it there. Um, very, um, thank you for watching. I hope that's useful. Um, if you've got any questions or queries about stone carving, um, uh, there was some mention of um, people who aren't stone carving wanting to know some very basic stuff, but there are videos that I've done about kind of tools and stone carving. But what I might do at some point is, um, I did a talk about stone carving a few, year, a few months ago last month and I might do a kind of little talk about stone carving um, and about what w w kind of the history of stone carving not I'm a great authority on that but you know just a little brief history of stone carving and it, it historically um, where it comes from and you know how it is um, import how craft is really um, an undervalued um, um, pastime, living um, ha ha in in our society today. So how kind of physical work is undervalued. undervalued. 
So um, uh, I'll, I'll, now I've thought of that, I'll put that together. Thank you very much. Have a lovely week. Stay uh, safe in these weird and wonderful COVID times. Um, I hope you're okay and I will see you next week if I be spared. Cheers. <laughs>